what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be starting a new series over git and we're going to eventually move on into github so for today's video let's jump right into what git is okay everyone let's start with the question what is git right so git essentially is version control Right, so version control, what does this do? Version control tracks all and every change made to your files. You can start to see how this is very important. With Git, you can also have local and remote repositories. So what does this mean? Well, as I mentioned earlier, some magical word called GitHub. We can have repositories on these web hosting um, Git platforms and we can also have our own local copy of a repository in which we can work on it and then later push onto a remote repository in which more people can collaborate which brings us into our next topic of collaborative work model with Git you are able to not just work on a project for yourself but you can also work with a team and everyone's working on their part, you create branches, and then at the end of the day, you all merge them together. If something doesn't check out, you can you know you can tell your teammate, hey, I saw this in your in your code, I saw you delete this, and I don't think it's gonna mix well with the main branch. Which is great because uh, you can set these off to the side, work on them individually, and it won't affect the master or or say the original branch right and so now let's say you do mess up the master branch or the original branch well git allows you to revert your previous changes which goes back to the topic of version control system which tracks all the changes to your files and that's talking about adding deleting changing everything line by line whatever you do if you commit something if you if you add something or remove something it's all being tracked and this allows you to in short it creates snapshots and which allows you to go back to a version in time when it was working so now you can reflect and see what changes made the every well, basically everything break and so yeah um there's other web hosting um git platforms on the web but most popular is uh, github GitLab is pretty good too. But yeah, so that's pretty much what Git is. So now let's get on to the next question at hand, which is gonna be the broad idea of Git. Right, so remember all the stuff I recalled about Git. So now, let me reiterate. So it keeps track of all changes in the file, right? So you start a repository and you start working on it and so you just start working on it working on it you know however long you need to take and then you're able to push your work to the main repository or more so add and commit and then push to the original master branch so in doing this you your git repository starts to create history you work on it today you work on it tomorrow things are being committed things are being pushed in which it creates snapshots and again, like I said before, you can revert to these snapshots and you can see if something broke. Let's say you start, you committed one line of code and the next thing you know, nothing's working, right? So, well, it is one line, but let's say you did multiple lines and you don't know what's going on. Very important. So, yeah, that's sort of the broad idea. It really helps with workflow and organizing your files and what you're basically the work you are doing. So, in the next video, we are going to be talking about how to install Git and how to use Git. And we're going to also talk about how to get set up with a GitHub account so you can manage your repositories in a more appealing manner rather than just being stuck in the terminal. So thanks for watching guys and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.